and identify yourself. <laughs> A fighting citizen will not <laughs> It's always good to see you around, friend. Strange. Doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep Project. Huh. Okay, let's think about this logically. Either this is actually a high-security tape, or it's mislabeled somehow. Right? Let's... Uh, assume it's real for now. They used to make us listen to these whale song tapes while we were using the deep sleeper pods. So, let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. Documentation, user manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. I believe you. I don't know why exactly, but... I feel like I knew it was more than just relaxing ocean sounds. Dr. Bernard designed it to help us sleep for long periods of time and space. It clearly worked. <laughs> Maybe too well. Something just seems unsettling about the whole thing. I'll start to investigate other signals too. I wish that whale song holotape wasn't... Whatever it is. It would be soothing to listen to that right about now. <sighs> this world is so... peculiar. So dangerous. And I'm just amazed at the fact that life continues, you know? So how did you survive all of this? I can respect that. Every day seems like a fight. But you're learning something new about yourself, right? I'm glad I can be a part of that. I hope when everything settles down, I can reprogram this scanner to be helpful for you. Find more things to help you survive. We'll see. Just whale song, repeating. So pleasant. Headache sort of melted away. Okay, uh, I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the DC area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Oh, my folks were so proud. Uh, other than that, 
I had a few relationships, nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know. That's the high-level overview, anyway. I I'm not a weirdo, if that was what you were asking. I'll be here, friend. I always love the crazy stories and drama in the Unstoppables, but now I feel like I'm living one. And not so great.
Automated Mining Services welcomes you to the home of industry. Visitors, please see our receptionist. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search.
found something related to the deep sleep mission? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Suspension of living tissue is right. Not sure about the cyclic energy transfer stuff. I guess that could be anything. Two things jump out at me here, though. Something about sensory data transfers and, and the fact that Emerson was the supervisor. What the hell? Okay, here's my plan. I found some old medical data from the USSA stored nearby, and I want you to look for a copy of my records there. <sighs> Maybe five or six times, I suppose? Every couple months for the two years prior to launch, anyway. Huh. I think that's a fine question for Emerson, honestly. Something just isn't right here. I'm sort of terrified to see these medical records. I just need to relax for a bit. I got an issue of Tesla Science from a trader who stopped by recently, so uh, I'll probably dive into that. I mean, who doesn't, right? You don't happen to have any, do you? Oh, now that would be a warm blanket on a cold night. Oh, there is nothing quite like curling up with a good game. Oh, this brightens my day. Yes, a protectron has been circling the camp. It hasn't approached yet, though, so I'm gonna monitor it for data, and then we can go after it. I think it's collecting data about us, so I'm waiting to see who it's sending the data to, if I can. Dr. Bernard was one of the scientists that I worked with in the USSA. He was an engineer, mostly mechanical. I knew he had developed the sleeping pods for this mission, so that wasn't particularly new information for me. But it looks like there's something about the sleeping pod establishing a sensory link between the user and something else. I don't know what that is. And also, Emerson was the supervisor for this project. So he absolutely does know what this was about. In detail. <sighs> that is not how it was presented to us. We were supposed to maintain our ambient health levels, and that's it. Nothing else. The schematics say the pod was designed to help transfer sensory data. To what end? Well, right now, I think we need to track down some medical records. Then, maybe we can... Oh! Oh. Um, <clears throat> I I'll keep that in mind, friend. Um, <clears throat> I'll be here, friend. <laughs>